I would say to the community, just please note that businesses uh, locally and nationwide, they may have their own rules within their businesses, uh, similar to dress codes at different businesses and locations. Uh, you know, we want to get the economy open and strong, so uh, respect what, what they need to do for their businesses. Because uh, I know that's something that jurisdictions, CCPH, et cetera, will not be able to enforce, and they're not going to be a part of business decisions. Uh, that, that is purely the discretion of the business. Um, I, now, I also did see today that uh, Attorney General Dave Yost put a proposal forward to Governor DeWine uh, to utilize the American Rescue uh, Plan uh, federal money to provide premium pay of $1,000 to police and law enforcement as a bonus for serving during COVID. The details to that are just still to come if, if it is supported. Uh, and he also indicated that state funds could cover all first responders so that it's not i don't i don't know the discretion there that what they're looking at on that opinion but that's something that's at least a sentiment that has been put out from attorney general yost to governor dewine to act on uh, so uh, bottom line with that is just a big thank you to the police and uh, first responders safety services uh, for the efforts that that your men and women have have had to take on uh, during the last year so Chief Downing, Chief Gavidia, pass that along as well. Um, just as a comment to the $1,000 Dave Yost proposal for law enforcement, I think in, unfortunately, as a conservative, I feel like we've, I love law enforcement, especially when my right, wife lights, lights the house on fire. But uh, I think we've gotten to the point as a country where we should all be very concerned that we literally are printing so much money, we don't know what to do with it. We're going to hand it out to, we love police, but we're just going to hand out $1,000 to people. We're going to pay people not to work. We're going to have lottos for kids going to college. This is all going to come back to haunt us. And we shouldn't be acting like these are good things. We shouldn't be talking like they're good things. Okay, there are a problem that my kid's going to have to inherit, your kid's going to have to inherit when we become Venezuela someday. And I've been in Venezuela. Okay, so uh, what I came here to talk about, though, is that I think a lot of people know that I pride myself on going after illegal and unethical activity in our county. And I put my time, my talent, and my treasure into those activities. I stand behind all of those activities that I've been involved with, and I'm sure many people know that has involved pretty much everything. Litigation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of people here also know that I was recently accused quite ferociously by a person in this community of looking the other way at illegal and unethical activity involving this government. That I was looking the other way. That person uniquely said, Mr. Logue, that you were not involved in that illegal activity. I asked you on April 28th, I asked you on May 4th, and I asked you on May 5th. To please tell me, since you're not involved, but apparently I'm looking the, the other way at illegal activity in our township, what is that illegal activity that I am looking the other way at? Would you care at this time to either respond to that question that I've asked you at least three times already, or tell me that there isn't any, or commit to meeting me with me separately to tell me privately what's that illegal activity? Mr. Hicks, thank you for your question. I appreciate it. From the reach out and messages on a political agenda I feel that I'm asking specifically illegal government activity in a illegal government activity politically charged agenda in my opinion is not the best way for me to so serve the public and so watching and seeing that unfold between you and maybe another individual I will leave that for you and that other individual to engage on. Are you willing to say tonight that you personally are unaware of any illegal or unethical activity going on in this government? Will you say that on the record here tonight 
so that these, those other people that you don't want to get involved with that are making those insinuations know that you are on the record as a trustee in this township to say that after, I think, you know, a year, over a year that you've been in office, that you are unaware of any illegal or unethical activity taking place in this government on the record right now tonight. Any un illegal, illegal or unethical, unethical activity unethical taking place, in, taking this place government. in this government. Are you willing to state on awareness. the record tonight that you are unaware of any illegal or unethical activity taking place in this government tonight, right now? I have stated that on the record when we put forward for the audits. I've stated that on the record as will be coming up from Mr. Baston here in a week or so of a compliance report that each I'm of not talking about just audits. So and I am not aware of any illegal or unethical activity going on within okay. the township. I will act on that. It is in my interest serving the people as a servant leader to act on that. Okay. If you see something, you have to have an understanding of it. I want to also, I thank you for saying that on the record that you're not aware of any illegal or unethical activity taking place in this government. If you become aware of an activity, I want you to tell me if you're not afraid to report it to somebody else. If there's anybody else here that's unaware of any illegal or unethical activity taking place in this government, tell me. I'll be glad to make sure that I'm not giving a pass to any illegal or unethical activity. If anybody in the audience is aware of any illegal or unethical activity taking place within this government, they can come to me. I resent the insinuation that I am giving a pass to something illegal. I think people that know me in this room know that they, I think they all think that if I were aware of illegal or unethical activity taking place in this government, I'd be the first person to pursue it. But I really appreciate that now you've stated on the record in a public meeting that you are unaware of any illegal or unethical activity taking place in this government. So I thank you guys for giving me the chance to speak. And in a, on a final note, I also want to thank you and compliment you on what I think is one of the best, most transparent governments in this county. A government that never shut down its meetings, never locked its citizens out, is always trying to provide better services, and is an innovator that for 10 cents on the dollar is providing jobs compared to what any other government in this county can do. And not just low-end jobs, good jobs, like I drive past TQL every time I come to this meeting. So I want to thank you guys for that, and I want to compliment you. And just, you know, I'm upset because I, I, first, I don't give a pass to anybody. Go ask my wife. Go ask my kid. But I resent that there are people out there that for their own egos, their own gain, or for gains of political uh, 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 allies of theirs, would let insinuation happen that there is illegal or unethical activity. And you really need to clean that up because you came into office sending out mailers that showed a ex-trustee with bags of money coming off of him. That said, stop backroom deals. So I'm glad that you took a first step tonight in making clear that in over a year, in this government yourself, you're not aware of any illegal or unethical activity. Thank you guys very much.